After the critical votes being tallied up in Mexico's presidential election, as tonight both main parties are claiming victory, the country will likely elect its first ever female president. Sochi Galvis is pictured on the left. She represents the country's conservative party. Right now, early preliminary numbers show her trailing Claudia Scheinbaum of the leftist party. Full results are expected to roll in overnight and into tomorrow. It's the largest election in the country's history. As you can see, Mexican citizens were able to cast their ballots in the United States in person for the first time in 23 Mexican consulate sites. We have learned many here at the consulate in San Francisco who were in line were turned away after the locations closed at 5 p.m. our time. The National Institute of Elections tells me they were allotted 1,500 ballots but did not have time to register everyone who was lined up outside. ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell has more on the line, but important wait. The line spanning four blocks around the Consulate General of Mexico Sunday. Mexican voters showing up big time at the San Francisco polls. This is a party for democracy in Mexico. We are all very excited and proud that everybody showed up and everybody wants a change and we're here for that. Voters arriving from across the Bay Area waiting for hours. Here we've been in the line for probably two, three hours already and we're halfway there. A lot of people came at three in the morning and they barely left just right now. This is the first year Mexican citizens living in the U.S. have been able to vote at the country's consulates. Previously, the options were to vote by mail or electronically. We've been waiting for five hours. Did you expect this? Not five hours, but I did expect three, and we're going to be here for like seven. It's our right and our obligation towards our country, but seven hours is very patriotic. And while there was some frustration with the wait, the majority were feeling hopeful for their homeland. No, I'm not surprised because we all know that like uh, the stakes are pretty high. It's a historical election, and I'm actually like, I mean, it's a long line, but I'm quite happy to to be here and to see the turnout of the people. The stakes high indeed, with both presidential frontrunners being women. It's a big thing. It's as a woman, you know, coming. It's a really big thing for me to have a, a woman president that supports, you know, single single mothers and uh, the youth. The elders is very important for us. I think I'm gonna cry whenever I'm gonna vote for a woman. Um, it's huge for Mexico culturally. Um, it's gonna be a big uh, role model for women everywhere. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.